why the American people, and I don't talk the Vietnamese community, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. why is the American people, the young or the youth, right. they really want to study or they very much, you know, uh, thinking about the socialism? Uh, that's it. What, 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 what? Perfect. I love the question. Thank you so much for allowing me to speak on that. Uh, it, here's my theory, right? And so I'm not going to say that it, this is entirely accurate, but I spent a lot of time talking to a lot of people, including the youth, because this is, you know, by understanding what's going on and be able to tell them what's going on, it would tell, make this country great and also keep it great. The reason why socialism, and if you look back in the history as well, right, in communism and all that, it gets down to a number of reasons, one of which is economy. Until Donald Trump became the president, we're not growing as a nation. Kids would then, a couple things, they're, I'm going to use a strong word here, brainwash, or they're not learning about the Constitution. They don't learn about their rights. They don't learn about uh, capitalism. They don't understand about free enterprise. They don't understand what makes this country great and how it was formed. As you know, the framers, right, and I say framers, the, the men that actually put together the constitutions, most of them are fairly rich because of free enterprise. And that's why it was found. But younger generation were not taught these things. They don't understand the value of free enterprise capitalism. And you know what's worse? They go to college and then they're studying some degrees that does not apply them to obtaining a job. And so what happened? They can't get a job. They go back home. They stay home. They stay in their parents' basement. They're working as whatever if they need to. And then they say, well, Look at the man that got all these money, right? And how come we don't have them? So the capitalist pigs approach, and, and you and I know that's, that's going down the path that the haves and the have not. And that's why socialism seems to be very attractive to them. They don't know about free enterprise. They don't know what's great about this country. They don't have jobs, and they said, the people that have money shouldn't have them. And therefore, they're leaning toward free stuff. And that's why if you look at what's going on, you know, Bernie Sanders being one, right? And there's others that says free education, free college, free health care. We'll give it to you. So when you hear that, what is it telling you? The government knows better. We'll take care of you. The other people that make it and do well, they're the evil ones. And that's why 53%, and to be exact, young children prefer socialism at this point because they, know, they don't know any better. Now, in the past, they do not swing over the far left right. recently. Why? 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 Uh, After Trump became the president, seemed to me they, they, they swing over the far, far, far left, and then they really get into deeply in socialism. Uh, thank you so much for that uh, question. So here's what's happening, right? So if you, until, and again, I'm just using the name so we, we have a demarcation, until about Barack Obama, right? The left, right, is working toward their ideals. They want to go toward socialism. And how do they do that? They penetrate education. They penetrate colleges, right? They're changing minds. That's what they're doing. But they do it very gradual. You can't tell about it. They're changing the books. They're changing social. They're changing a number of things. But they do it slowly and quietly. And if you're doing it like a frog in a hot water approach, you don't tell. You can't tell, right? Barack Obama, President Obama, right? He's the one that said, I'm going to accelerate. I'm going to fundamentally transform America. And that's when he makes it accelerate that process. And when that happens, people like you and me who have experienced that 
start to notice and other people start to notice. Now, moving from that point to today, because Hillary is supposed to be the third Barack Obama and she's going to fully transforming it. And it didn't happen, right? You know what happened. That's when Trump came on board. So for now, they said, look, the cats are out in the bag. What do we need to do to go ahead and move forward? Now, if you remember Bernie Sanders, he was one of the ones that said, I know where it's going. I'm going to be the first one out front and shift the party to the left transparently. And guess what happened this election? All the other candidates saying, well, well, for me to be beating Bernie, I'm going to go even farther left. And now that's why it's totally out and open and totally transparent. And for me, this is some, some way is a good sign where people like you and me can point to it and say, see, this is exactly what's happening, right? We just can't give everything for free because who's going to pay for it? At some point, we're going to run out of all the everybody else's money. Luckily, the most the immigration come to United States very much. They left in the back of their homeland. Okay, most of them they run away from dictatorship, yeah. communism yes, or something, you know, very disturbing from the own country. Mm -hmm. So like our Vietnamese comedy and yourself. We do have enough, some experience when we talk about the, uh, the, the uh, social socialism and communism. 